All right, this is a uh, another uh, topic that I forgot to mention, but uh, I just wanted to bring some light to it because um, this is something positive, and I, I hope this don't uh, I hope this don't actually goes through. So, uh, lawmakers introduced a bill to repay families of black soldiers who fought during World War II. Um, the reason why this is so significant is because uh, when the GI Bill uh, came out. Um, it gave soldiers who came home and fought in the war all these opportunities to get loans, to get houses, so they can start building wealth. Um, and black people, even though they fought in the war, were still not able to be a part of this, even though they served their country and, and fought for their country just like their white counterparts. And um, this is just one of those additional things that happen that happens in our community that still affects us today. Think about all those people who fought in the World War II or Vietnam and all these things and used our bodies and used our people and have nothing to show for it. You know, a lot of these people, you know, ended up homeless, um, jobless, um, suicide. Yes. There's a lot of there's a lot of traumatic things like you know, um, I know Muhammad Ali spoke about, you know, how people will go and fight this war and he gets treated better over there in the country that he's fighting against than he does at home. That's you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? Like he, he was talking about the soldiers who, who did that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. So uh, hopefully this bill that's been introduced uh, gets passed and they find a way to um, wrong a lot of these, uh, right a lot of these wrongs. Um, to to our people, so yeah, just wanted to highlight that. Um, y'all want to? That's my that's my man. I look love the Elon guy. I love you. Yeah, shout out Elon Musk, man. Um. I thought this was interesting, bro. Like this was just so out of left field. Elon got so much money; he don't give a fuck. He just say what he want. He what he want to say. I want to know. He don't even got time to be on Twitter. Like who? I feel like they, maybe that was somebody on his team that just was fed up or something like that. But that's some Yo. All right, so for our podcast listeners, so you guys know what we're talking about, Bernie Sanders uh, put out a tweet said, we must demand that the extremely wealthy pays their fair share, period. And... I don't get that correctly. That's not how... That was not... <laughs> <laughs> and Elon Musk replied, I keep forgetting that you're still alive. And... <laughs> so, and but he added something after that. Yes, he he did add something after that, so he get full contact. If you want me to sell more stock, Bernie, just say the word. Um, Elon Musk did sell um, a big, hefty uh, portion of his Tesla stock. Um, he also offered recently um, to the World Health Organization if they can find a way how they can end world hunger, because I believe they made statements like, hey, this is the amount of money that we need to end world hunger. And Elon replied to them and said, hey, if you have a plan... Showing me how to do, like, how you're going to use the money to do this, I will give it to you. I will sell my stock and, you know. And make and, it and open source so the public can see how you use make, the money. Absolutely. He said, make it open source make so that way people know what's way. going on. Like, yeah. hey. And we don't want to see payroll at the top of the list. Can we be the nonprofit <laughs> organization? Right, right. Make and, six figures and shit, seven figures and disperse my money. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. I, <sighs> I <laughs> this this it's, it was hilarious to me, man. I I agree with Elon, just not the way how he did it, because I fuck with Bernie, man. Like I think Bernie means well, but at the same time, like when you ask the the rich or the wealthy to pay their fair share, they believe that they are paying their fair share already. They're being taxed more than anybody else. I mean, it's there's people who are making you know millions and millions of dollars, and they have to give up almost half of that shit to taxes just because they make so much money and that does affect them too it's just like yo i worked my ass off i worked hard to get some of them not all but you know worked hard to get to that money 
and now they just got to give it up. And a lot of people would be more willing to give their money to the government if they knew the government was going to use it properly or use it in the way they right. think is going to best, you know, help their community and stuff like that. That's why, you know, there is a tax loophole where you can give charity or donate and stuff like that because people can actually choose where their money is going to go to hopefully actually see some real um, actions being taken from the money that they're giving. So, um, I'm so like um, on the fence about like where I stand with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really am. Like I really am because it's just like even if the government did get the wealthy's money, all y'all yeah. would do is pay ourselves more money. Like y'all do not do anything for the poor, and that is the part that pisses me off and why I'm so divided. And I'm also planning to be one of these wealthy ones. And I and I want every single loophole to still exist when I get there. <laughs> there's, 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 there's probably going to be a Republican in office by the, by the time we get there, so we'll probably be good. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I've been paying attention more than ever lately. I, mm-hmm. I identify with the Republican Party and those uh, aspects. Absolutely. Like that. It's just that simple. Yeah. Spend up all my money tax. Right. Yeah. Fuck all that. Um, all right, what we got next? What we got next? Top hill, top hill, top hill.